To log into the OVH Cloud Control Panel, you will need to go to the main website and click on My Customer Account. Once you have arrived on this page, you will need to enter your NIC handle or primary email address. Your OVH Cloud account is called a NIC handle. A NIC handle is composed of two letters, followed by numbers, ended by dash OVH. Then, enter your password below. If you no longer have your password, simply click on Forgotten Username or Password. You will be sent a password reset link to your account's primary email address. If you do not have access to this primary email address, you will have to contact our support team to update this and follow the process to recover your account. To check what details you have listed on your account, you will first log in to the OVH Cloud Control Panel. To do this, as I said earlier, enter your NIC handle. Then enter your password. That's it, you are logged into your OVH Cloud account if you ever need to change your personal information. To declare a change of address, for example, I invite you to click on your initials in the top right. On this page, you have a summary of your information located on my profile on the left. Here, you can click on edit my profile and you can enter the type of account you have, individual, an administration, an association, or a company. Below, you have information such as your name, surname, date of birth, and email address. It is important to fill this information incorrectly because if you need to contact the support team, you may be asked to verify this information for security or provide supporting documents matching the information you have entered. In the event of not having access to your account, the backup email, although noted optional, is important. I strongly encourage you to enter it because if you lose access to your customer space, you will be able to contact the support team who can change the primary email address to the backup email address. To ensure that your account is protected, go to the next tab, Security. On this page, you can enable two-factor authentication by clicking on the corresponding button. Two-factor authentication is available via three methods, via SMS, mobile application or USB key. If you need help configuring any of these methods, please go to the Help Center and use our guide. If a service provider wants to technically manage one of your products or services, please go to Contact Management. This page groups all your products and services together in front of the service of your choice. Here, for example, the onboarding.ovh domain. You can modify the details registered for the technical contact. However, it will ask for their NIC handle. If they do not have one, this can be acquired by creating an OVH cloud account. It is completely free of charge. Once you have the technical contact SNCC handle, you can enter it here, then click Confirm. When you click Confirm, it will send an email to both parties, on their side, and yours. When the two emails are validated, the contact management will be complete. When you subscribe to an OVH cloud product, you will need to enter a payment method, which will then be your default payment method. When you order a service, it will be set to automatic renewal. However, this can be modified at any time by going to the shortcut products and services here. On this page, you will find all your products and services listed. Take onboarding.ovh, for example. This domain is active with automatic renewal on its expiry date of March 2024. If you want to change this billing method, simply click on the three little dots on the right-hand side, then configure the renewal. You can then change the renewal type from automatic to manual. Click Next to confirm. Pay attention, your service will not be automatically renewed on its expiry date. When the service has expired, it will be immediately suspended. It will no longer be accessible, and the data associated with the service will be permanently deleted. Be careful when you change this to this renewal type. If your payment has been declined, and you wish to pay a bill, please click on the Bill tab on the right. This page groups all invoices together. You can view the invoice associated with its order number, issue date, and amount. There is a Mass Action and Pay Balance Immediately button. Use this button to set your payment. For example, here, I can pay €4.48 Euros 48 cents to renew my services. If I click on it, it will generate a purchase order. It can take up to two hours to complete and your service to be paid. 
If you no longer want to keep your service, you can cancel it. To do this, let's take the example of the onboarding.ovh domain. Click on the three small dots on the far right, then cancel. There will be a form to complete to outline the reason to cancel. When the form is validated, the service and all the backups will be permanently deleted. Again, be sure to save any information or backups before you confirm. For full information on how to distinguish between fraudulent and legitimate emails, you can refer to the guide available in the Help Center. Here, on the left, you have an OVH cloud email. On the right, you have a phishing email, which is a fraudulent email. There are three points that allow you to differentiate between the two. First, the sender. The one on the left is from OVH.com. We can see on the right that it is not from OVH.com. Second, the subject of the email. An OVH email will always have your NIC handle. On the right, the fraudulent email has no knowledge of this ID. Lastly, when you have a link, move your mouse over it, you will be able to see the destination of the link. In this case, we can see that it is an OVH link. It is therefore legitimate. On the right, we do not know the origin of this site. If you ever have any doubt, you can find all the service emails we have sent you in your OVH control panel. Here, you have a copy of the emails that are sent to the main email address. Warning, your support requests are not on this tab. To find them, go to the shortcut at the bottom, My Support Requests.